So when you're thinking of spending $200 on a smartphone and you're thinking of gaming, right, which is what we like to cover, that's something you just don't put together because you're thinking, look, it doesn't have the specs that I want, doesn't have the features, but uh, I'm going to try and prove you wrong here with this one. So the device in this video is the Blue N1. You saw in my thumbnail, Call of Duty Mobile, that's the hottest game in town and seriously, it's really good. Check out some of my gameplay videos on Call of Duty Mobile. Um, I did that on the Galaxy Fold. But this device is not the Galaxy Fold. It doesn't have that processor. It has something else and it does a really good job with what it has. And that's what made me quite impressed because it's not just gaming, which we'll get to, it's the other features that come with it. You've got a 6.4 inch display, 1080p, looks really nice, no bezels. I mean, thin be thinner bezels, sorry. Um, but there's no hole punch, there's no notches. It looks really nice. It, it's a beautiful device, beautiful device to look at, especially at that wallpaper. And I know my wallpaper fans, the link's down below if you haven't downloaded this wallpaper already. But you've got a nice display. Now the front facing camera is a pop-up camera. It's decent in, in, in daylight and that's fine. You can do portrait modes as well. Uh, the rear camera also can take decent pictures in daylight. Uh, night, the night, night mode there, it's just not that good. I, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, and it's something that hopefully they can fix. But Blue has done a good job over the years in changing what they do. This is running uh, closer to stock version of Android. This is what you find on the Pixel devices, really smooth, efficient, because it's powered by the MediaTek P70 processor. This is an awesome processor, especially when you're thinking of gaming performance and just everyday performance here. Coupled with four gigs of RAM, you also have a 3,500 milliamp battery. This is a big battery for a device like this. Nice battery life on this device, but charging it also is something that they thought about and they've given you an 18 watt charger. So you've got fast charging on this device, something the iPhone just got in box for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Think about that. Coupled with a 10 watt wireless charging. Yes, there is wireless charging on a $200 smartphone, something that most mid-level smartphones just don't have. Blue was like, yeah, we'll throw it in there, right? And then you've got an in-display in fingerprint sensor. So there's a lot of features in this device before we get to all the gaming that you think about, right? And uh, what do you get with gaming? Like I said, MediaTek's P70 processor, you're looking at four gigs of RAM. So how does Call of Duty Mobile handle, you know, the game that we like to, we, we all wanna see? Well, let's go ahead and check it out.
So I've got to say the Helios P70 processor in here didn't disappoint. Now it doesn't go to the max graphical settings. I go to high instead of, of course, um, ultra ultimate, which is the highest setting, but it does a good job at the setting you have here. It's really smooth. It, it works out well. A few hitches here and there, but I think that's more with RAM than anything else. Uh, game ran well, and I like that. I like that I was able to game and enjoy my gameplay sessions. Now temperatures, uh, we got up to about 99 degrees, 100, which is close to what you get with high-end uh, systems that have special cooling. So roughly about the same. So I like the thermals I'm getting from here, right? Uh, speaker is, it's okay. The speaker is not that great, but it's got a headphone jack, which is good. They also supply you a lot of accessories like the headphone, uh, headphones in the box as well as uh, that 18 watt charger. But at least you can listen to uh, audio with your good pair of headphones. You've got Bluetooth connectivity as well with this device. So that also is nice. Now, although it's not Bluetooth 5.0, you still can connect your devices to it. When you think about everything together, right? You've got a device that can game well for you. You've got a device that also has an inbuilt fingerprint sensor. It's got a big battery, 3,500 milliamps. It's also got fast charging. It's got wireless charging. It's got uh, a display with no notches or bezels. And it's only $200. That's the kind of progress I like to see. And I'm glad that Blue has this product out there. And I'm glad to see they've made changes, especially just with the OS itself, that now it feels like a really solid Android experience and runs really smooth. So you're not, you're not sacrificing a lot. I think the camera is the one point that I want to see more improvements because I think even at $200, you can make great improvements to the camera. But still, this is a really solid buy. And if you're a gamer and you're thinking, I want to, I want to get that OnePlus, the ROG phone, the Galaxy, they're all expensive. They really are. But you can get something like this, the Blue Bolt N1 at 200 bucks and still enjoy the gaming experience that you want to. So let me know what you guys think about this device, the Blue Bolt N1. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Also, if you want me to cover more devices like this in this price range, because I don't do that as much, especially when it comes to gaming and what you can actually expect, leave your thoughts down below because I'm really impressed with pricing structure now and how things are looking at. So I want to hear from you. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share this video, favor this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.